This is one of my favourite experiments because it's so simple and yet so surprising. Do it when you're teaching about gases and I bet you'll have the whole class jumping up and down. You can see how simple this experiment is from the equipment you need. A milk bottle, a ping pong ball and some water. Would you fill the bottle with water right to the top so it's overflowing? All right. not overflowing all over the bench, obviously, but just so that it's right to the top. It's a little... Up, That's up, it. Marvellous. And now, would you put the table tennis ball on top? Again, a little bit more water will come out when you do that. Now, you might want to do this over the jug as it's your first time. <laughs> Hold up the milk bottle and turn it upside down. Oh, all right, okay. Wow. It's good, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> I've done this so many times and I still don't believe it. <laughs> What's happening is gravity is obviously pulling the water down and you can feel that a pint of water weighs quite a lot. But there's air pressing on the ball and because the ball is a sphere, there's a large surface area. The air that we can't even feel is pressing on that ball and there's enough force in that air pressure to stop the water coming out. This is a very good experiment to do when you're talking about gases because children have difficulty with gases because you can't see them but when you do this and explain why it works they realize that air isn't nothing there is quite a lot going on in air <laughs>